Hello everyone, I am Chu Xiaojie. Here is a video abstract of double coset operators and eta quotients, a joint work with Zhou Haigang. Hick operators play important roles in number theory and many other mathematics disciplines. Wolfart developed a theory of generalized Hick operators which map modular forms of some multiplier system to those of another multiplier system. We express Wolfart's general Hick operators as double coset operators and study their actions on eta quotients. Here is our main theory, that is theorem 3.9. We list all possible double coset operators which map spaces of modular forms of one multiplier system to those of another multiplier system. Such operators are useful in studying the vanishing properties, congruence relations, and the recursive relations of Fourier coefficients of eta quotients. We present three applications of these kinds. In the first application, we give identities of the form TL acting on eta1 XOR CL times eta2 where eta1 and eta2 are two eta quotients, and TL is a double coset operator. CL is a constant depending on L. There are thousands pairs of such eta quotients, and we list part of them in long tables in the paper and give the stage mass code to generate all of them. From each identity, one can derive many congruence relations for Fourier coefficients of eta1 as illustrated in example 2 in the paper. In the second application, we study the action on interpowers. We give recursive relations for Fourier coefficients of the rth power of the eta function, with r a positive integer less than or equal to 24. This generalizes Newman's classical results See theorem 5.8 in the paper. In the third application, that is theorem 6.5 in the paper, we study the action on eta powers but on smaller groups of prime levels. The main theorem is a criterion on whether TL acting on the s power of the eta function is a linear combination of certain eta quotients of prime level. This generalizes a theorem in congruence property of PKN by Du, Liu, and Zhao. We present the full stage math code and invite the interested readers to future investigations. Thank you for your attention.